Hello, welcome to this video. We're just going to show you how you can create a uh, easily create a new plugin for Webinary Headless CMS. And we've gone to great pains to make it as easy as possible for, for developers and as quick as possible so that you can utilize some of our internal APIs for storing data and returning that. And it's not too much work for you. So let's dive in. What we're going to do is we're going to create a color picker. We're going to use the, the text field to render that because, of course, it's rendering a string. Um, hexadecimal value. So it's appropriate to use the, the text field for that. So what I've got here is, an, is just a basic model. Um, I've got the, the, the text field here. Um, and as you can see, it just has the text input there as a default. But you can add to these. You can add as many as you want. So let's, uh, so let's do that. What I'm going to do is open in my Webany installation, open apps, then the admin app, go into its code source, and open plugins. There you can see headless CMS plugins. We've already got one here set up for you, the rich text editor one. But let's create a new one here for the color picker. There we go. I'm just going to import React. The next thing we're going to import is our types. There we go, autocomplete, love it. Okay, let's define our new renderer. Pass in our type and here we go. This should be this should be good fun. Right, now we have to specify the type for this um, as a string. CMS editor field renderer. Okay, and then give it a unique name. Go. Now let's handle the renderer itself, which is an object. Give it a value that uh, it can use to make it unique, and a name is going to show in the UI and a description. Pick a color. All right. Now, the render function that's available on this here, call it like that. And I'm just going to show you the basic bare bones of what we're going to use here. So we're going to actually just use an input with the type of color. And there is a skeleton. But of course, we want to do something with the value of that, don't we? And we also want to pass in the data. So what we've got here in the renderer is if you destructure that, you'll see that there is a get bind hook. And if you call that and assign it to a, a variable like that, then you can wrap your component in that. Yep, like that. And now if you have a new function to get the values out of that bind, here, let's do the return first. Let's put that there, and then we can destructure. That's a bit more obvious. And then you can destructure that like this, and you can have the value. And on change here, just like that. And now you can have the value being used from your um, React component. And on change, I'm just going to get the event, pass it into the our on change event, and pass in the value. There we go. Okay, there's one other thing that this is expecting, and that is a can use function. Now, of course, we only want to render this when it's a text field. We don't want to render it when it's in a file importer or, or something like that. So let's get the current field. And then only return if the field type is text. There we are. OK. 
Okay, that's our component. Right, and I didn't export it. Color picker. There we are, we have our color picker. Now, we obviously need the uh, CMS to register that plugin. So I'm going to go into here, same folder, just to the next one up, plugins, header CMS. You'll see all the various different components that we already have um, and the plugin that we've already got here, Rich Text, text Editor. So let's just go ahead and import our color picker. There we go. Call it. And now, when the app rebuilds, you should see we'll be able to add an extra text field with the appearance of a color picker. How about that then? Let's save that field and create a new entry. And there you've got the title, my first article, and you've got a color picker, which you can save the value of just like that. So as you can see, it's super easy to create plugins. You can, to Webany being open source, we, we will not only want you to have um, the, the everything you need to create your application, but also an easy and and pleasant way of doing it. So I hope that's been instructive. I hope you have fun creating your own field types for Webney Headless CMS.